They're running in really nice. Okay, folks, it's day two. Should get some good well echo here. What are we doing? We're going to put a um, another Grunfoss pump, a soft start, dry run protected pump in here. Just doing a few things that go well with uh, a solar system. Things that are soft start, like air conditioners that are soft start, well pumps. And uh, so what, that, what we're doing is leaving your existing pump and we're adding through a pitless adapter another pump the little Grunfoss over there and then we're going to put in a hand, the simple pump hand pump so we will have the three in one when you do a pitless adapter you've got a there's a their existing original line we've got a T in here and then we gotta get it plumbed to our new pitless adapter so when you're pumping we're gonna put a little underground valve and a valve box access so that they can uh, back feed from the simple pump by turning on a spigot out here and be able to pressurize their bladder tank which is over there in the basement and good morning it is the beginning of day four we have uh, been building this Iron Ridge ground mount 10kw we'll have 36 Trina black on black modules and this is our first again using the earth anchors so no concrete was used we drove the uh, helical screws or earth anchors in and uh, we had a cool little drill rig to drill 36 holes and then our top rails were spliced uh, one splice in there so it's like 49 feet and some change so anyway we're just tightening things up and as we tighten it up we see it straightens right out alright we just hooked up another hot water controller the solar hot water controller and we're pulling in 8.4 amps so I'll go up to 8.8 .8 there for a while. I don't know what the weather's doing outside. So um, we also use this box as a junction box to route our um, solar air conditioning through from uh, 260 feet away. So that's where our solar is in relationship to this controller, about 260 feet away. We brought, again, if you haven't seen these before, we have the solar hooked directly through this controller to this bottom element going through the thermostat to heat water. So, um, and to go along with that, we put our tank booster kit, mix and valve, that will uh, allow, and we turn the thermostat all the way up, so we should be able to heat this tank to 150 degrees today off of solar, and they still have their top element as backup. And uh, so we leave that we leave that one alone, and then we make all our hot water on solar. So this has still been a really good solution, really economical solution. I want to say almost a free hot water solution, but it's close to it. All right, that's our first DC circuit turned on. We're about ready to land some solar in the Solark. Okay, we're turning on the Solark, and we are charging the battery. And it's a little cloudy day, so only 2K going into the battery. Um, we do not have the AC side of things done. We just wanted to, we were waiting on an electrician for this uh, job. So we have everything off, generator inputs. We're not even dealing with that yet, but we have the battery charging. And that was our goal today, was to land the solar. And it's landed. So we're happy about that. Sweet. All right, wrapping up another solar installation with a solar converter. I'll tell you a little bit about it. We've got our DC, our solar circuits coming down into a wiring trough. And then we have battery, solar, uh, battery temperature sensor, all the AC side of things, loads out, loads in, and then the North Star telecom battery rack, fully breakered. And we are good to go. Time to uh, hit the road again. They're making hot water, making power, charging the battery. It's come up a percent in the last 10 minutes, so we're good. 
we'll be back to finish up the well project. This is a switch between two well pumps, uh, Soft Start Grunfoss and their original pump. We also have a simple pump out there. All three pumps can be used to charge to pressurize this bladder tank. And then our solar hot water system taking care of their water heater and a grid down for sure. And we might play around with the smart load off the Solark a little bit with that too. Alright, we just put our 36 300 watt Trina triple blacks. Black panels, black frames, and black backs because the house is up there and they didn't want to see we didn't want to see the white back plate. So this came out pretty good. This again was with the earth anchors. Iron Ridge pipe mount. They take a lot longer than the Schledder that we're used to building, but Schledder did away with their awesome FS mount. So we have now switched over to pipe mounts. We might try some others like Unirack and DPW, but for now we're on Unirack. I mean Iron Ridge, sorry. So it worked out pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and wire this up and pull Got about 250 foot pull up to the inverter in the mech room. So just a little lunch break and we'll get back at it. So this turned out real well. Let me show you the, so you see the back, backs are black. So we're good here, beautiful day. It's a good site, plenty of solar. So what we're gonna do now is string these together. These first four panels are probably gonna be for the hot water system. And the next six panels will be for the ACDC, and then we're gonna put the rest on the Soul Arc. All right, just wanted to show you this cool disconnect that Johnny found. It's from uh, IMO, an IMO disconnect. We've used these types of switches before. These are a little bit different though. Um, hot water and air conditioning are on this four pole switch. Then we have solar and solar, two strings of six, two strings of seven on this disconnect. It's a really cool, reasonably priced disconnect, outdoor rated, and uh, I think it looks cool as well. So we're done. We're done with the array. 10.8 kW, solar 36 Trina 300s, black on black, triple blacks. And it is time to get back. South Carolina because I got to go pick up a battery for our, the next job before they start charging us storage all right we're heading out all right we're not finished with this system yet but we're gonna shut it down um, battery came up about three percent in the last hour just letting her charge on solar it's not a very I'm only getting 500 watts so just wrapping up in the mech room Everything worked well, so shut off button is here. Everything shut off. It's a very simple system, and it says off. So we're good. I'm actually going to hit the breakers on. I'm going to turn the PV off. And I'm going to turn the breakers off to the battery. Okay. So all those are off. Solar is off. That'll go to sleep here in a second. And hopefully they were in good shape for their hot water. All right. I know I've signed off a bunch. I'm signing off again. See you folks. Thanks for watching. There you have it. 10.8K right on the pond. Tried to keep it as low and out of the way from the view from the house towards their, their pond. So we tucked it down in there and actually had to work in the water a little bit to build it. So it is a pond, it's not a river, so it won't raise any higher than that. Well, it won't raise any higher than where I'm standing on the dam. So another beautiful piece of property here in an undisclosed location. We've seen a lot of deer, a lot of turkey this week and last week. It's been a little bit longer than we wanted it to be. That's just because the earth anchor, I think the terrain and the earth anchors and the iron ridge were new to us. Took a little bit longer there and the weather but turned out really nice all right signing out for the 35th time engineer 775 see you later